So now we want to look at matrix multiplication. It's not as straightforward as addition or subtraction, but it's not that complicated either. All right, so we want to let me just read what we have up on the screen here. So we can determine the product of two matrices only when the number of columns of the first matrix is the same as the number of rows in the second matrix. So it sounds like a mouthful. Let me just dissect that a little, a little bit, all right? So, for example, if I should ask you, if I should, if I say to you that the matrix A is, let's see, two, four, five, seven, and the matrix B is one, six, eight, one, six, eight. zero seven two and i ask can we find a times b all right let us check if, if it's possible to find a times b no what's the order of this matrix here matrix a it's a two by two right two rows and two columns yes. all right What's the order of matrix B? How many rows? Three rows, well, two rows, sorry. Two rows going across and three columns. So it's a two by three. All right, remember now this is rows, this is column, this is rows, this is column. So let me read again. We can determine the product of two matrices only when the number of rows of the first matrix. Sorry. We can determine the product of two matrices only when the number of columns of the first matrix. So here is the first matrix. The number of columns here is two. Is the same as the number of rows in the second matrix. Number of rows is two. So we can only multiply two matrices when these numbers are the same. If these numbers are not the same, we cannot multiply them. And it soon become clear when we're actually doing the, the, the multiplication, all right? So these two numbers have to be the same. This amount of column in the first matrix have to be the same as the amount of rows in the second matrix. Now here we have two matrices, P and Q. Now, is it possible to multiply these two matrices, P times Q? Let's, let's check. How many rows does the matrix does the matrix has? Two rows. So P P is a two by three matrix, two rows, three columns. And then Q, what is, what's the order of Q? It's a two by two, right? So Q is a two by two. So ask the question, can we multiply these two matrices? Notice these numbers are different. Alright? So the number of columns, again, this, remember this is, this is the rows, this is row, this is column, this is row, this is column. So the number of rows, the number of rows, the number of columns, the number of columns in the first matrix is not the same as the number of rows in the second matrix. And therefore, this is not possible. All right, so always... Efficient way of determining if you can multiply two matrices is by just writing down the order. And if these two numbers are the same, if these two numbers are the same, then we can multiply them. If they are not the same, then we cannot multiply them. So if you have a mat if you have two matrices, one is a two by four, and one is a four by one. Can we multiply these two matrices? And the answer is yes, because these two, two values are the same. Suppose you have a, suppose you have a two by three matrix and a five by two matrix. Can we multiply these two matrices? No, 
not possible because these two numbers are different, right? So this would be possible because these two numbers are the same. The number of columns in the first is equal to the number of rows in the second. And these are different. They are not the same. So the, this one, not possible. All right. Now that we know the rule, let's do some multiplication. Let's try some examples. So here we have two matrices, A is 2, 3, 4, 1, and B is 5, 6, 4, 2, and we are asked to find the product, A times B, so we ask ourselves a question, can we multiply these two matrices? A is a 2 by 2, right? and B is also 2 by 2. So these two numbers are the same, so yes, we definitely can multiply them. Uh, let's do the multiplication now. So we have A. And A. Let's change the color. A is 2, 3, 4, 1. That's A times B. So B is 5, 6, 4, 2. All right, so let's do this multiplication. So I want to take what we call the dot product. All right, so I have some, I have some notes written here. All right, so the rule is, the rule is to take the dot product of each row of the first matrix and each column of the second matrix. What do we mean by dot product of each row of the first matrix and each row of the second matrix? Now notice the first matrix. So, so, so for the first matrix, very important for the first matrix, we're using the rows only. Just there, so the first matrix, we're using the rows only. And for the second matrix, we're using the columns only. All right, so very important. So first matrix, rows only. Second matrix, columns only. So let's do this now. So, rows only. So the row, take the first row. So, so the rule is to take the dot product of each row of the first matrix and each column of the second matrix. So let's do, let's deal with the first row of the first matrix. So this first row, you take the first row and apply it, take that product with 5, 4. And what do I mean by that? It means 2 times the 5 and 3 times the 4. So remember you're multiplying 2 numbers times 2 numbers. So the first number to the first number, second number to the second number. So again, you're multiplying 2, 3 by 5, 4. So it's 2 times the 5. It's 2 times the 5. Let me just make some room here. I'm just making some room here. Room here. So you're, you're applying 2, 3 to 5, 4. So it's 2 times the 5. Plus 3 times the 4. Alright, so you take the, the top row, apply it to these two values. Alright. Now you see why it's important, the order of both matrices is much important because what if this has, has had 3 rows? What if there's a number below the 4 here? What if you had something like Five four one, and you have something like six two seven, and you're applying two three to this. You'd have two times the five, and you have three times the four. But there's no other number value in the row here to apply to this one, and that that is why two three four one would it not be possible to multiply it with this matrix. 
All right. Okay, so let's let's continue. So now we're applying, so, so, so you take the 2, 3, apply it to 5, 4, and then you take the same 2, 3, and apply it to 6, 2. So you take the row and apply it to each column. Take the top row in the first and apply it to each column over here. So 2, 3 to 5, 4. Now we're going to apply 2, 3 to 6, 2. So it's 2 times 6 plus 3 times 2. So you're applying 2, 3 to 6, 2. So first number times first number. The second number times the second number. All right. Now we finish with the top row. Because 2, 3 has been applied to both of these columns. Now let, let us apply 4, 1 to the same two columns over here. So you're applying 4, 1 to 5, 4. So what do we have now? 4, 1 to 5, 4. So 4 times 5. Plus 1 times 4. So applying 4, 1 to 5, 4. All right, and then now we have, we apply 4, 1 now to the other column. So 4 times 6, that's 24. Well, 4 times 6. Plus 1 times 2. So 4 times 6 plus 1 times 2. All right, let's do the, all right. So, so. Here, 2 times 5, 10. So 10 plus 12, what's 10 plus 12? 22. Here, 2 times 6, 12. And 3 times 2, 6. So 12 plus 6, that's 18. Here, 4 times 5, 20. Plus 4, that's 24. And here, it was 4 times 6, right? 4 times 6, that's 24. Plus 2, that's 26. Right, so that's it. And by the way, let me just very importantly, when it, so so the result is, is a two by two matrix. So in other words, if you have if you if you have a matrix, say two times is a two by seven matrix, and you multiply you multiply it to a seven by say five matrix, then the result after you check that these it's possible to multiply these because the middle numbers are the same, the result. The resulting matrix will be a 2 by 5 matrix. Or for example, let's say you multiply a 1 by 2 times a 2 by 2. And you check, these numbers are the same, so obviously they can be multiplied. But the resulting matrix, the answer will be a 1 by 2 matrix. Okay, I think I get the point now. Let's do some more examples in the other videos.